What's up, folks? So I just got out watching Free Guy. It stars Ryan Reynolds, and it was directed by Sean Levi. The guy, same guy, gave, gave us like family films, like Night of the Museum, Cheaper by a Dozen, and all them. I think this was his first big time action film. It's a PG-13, so it's not like his. Uh, it's not like what he did with his other films, but it was. It was actually pretty good. I mean, the positives. Ryan Reynolds, of course, is Ryan Reynolds. What else can you expect from the man? He was funny, he was quick, he was witty, and I really did like him. It's basically about this guy, Ryan Reynolds, who's a non-player character in this video game called Free City. And it's like a multiplayer game, you know, like any other game that you buy out there, like Grand Theft Auto. And he, he's this N, NPC, and who basically just goes off, does whatever he wants. And there's like a whole, you know, not to, not to spoil the whole thing, but there's this whole reason why that is. And watching the trailer, I was like, wait a minute. Okay, this is a video game type movie. And if he's not a, if he's a non-player game, how is he doing this? But they actually put a good reason in it. And that's what made the story really good. And of course, you got the jokes, you know. That, you know, it's just, it's a Ryan Reynolds movie, so I, mean, I need I say more. But the special effects was really good. It was, it was pretty much action-packed. The whole time I was watching the trailer and all the other movies I watched, I was pretty much expecting it to be just that. It was pretty much action-packed. In a way, you know, you don't get the uh, traditional computer graphics that you see in every game they make it live action when it's actually involving the Ryan Reynolds character and in the game but it's you know you got this transition in between back and forth which made it really interesting yeah you know, the characters was great you have this uh, friend of Ryan Reynolds this cop that was pretty much a riot I mean he would spat out like random things I can't really think of what his name is but I think I've, I, I know I've seen him in other stuff, but he, he was pretty funny. You know, he definitely added to the comedy validity there. And this game designer who claims to, you know, he, he wants all the money and all, like considered the main villain. He was okay. Yeah, I guess I put him in a in the uh, mixed. You know, the, the, he was a good villain, but uh, some of the things he did was a little questionable. Was a little awkward, but again, I, I still thought he was a decent enough villain. I honestly, I really don't have no negatives to say about this. You know, a friend of mine, you know, the whole time that the trailers kept on coming on, he kept on saying that he thinks it's, it was, it was, it would look stupid. And I kind of see why, because at first, like the first, very first, first time I watched the very first trailer for this, I thought so too. But then they started coming out with the other trailers and then you know, usually that's what the trailer does. It just hypes you up. And if you're not impressed the first time, they throw out another one and you're more impressed. That happens all the time. And it definitely happened with me with Free Guy. It's, it's basically one of those movies that just kind of warms your heart because a lot of people struggle with this. And I noticed that the message was really sharp in this movie. The things you do in life matters. And most, in some... Like not most, but some people out there kind of believe that that's not true. You know, if this whole thing was fake, if life was fake, what, you know, what is the point? What are we doing here? What, you know, it's just that that whole message was there. And I, I really did like that. I, I like that concept. I like that message. I thought it was sound. I thought it was a really good message. If we're not real, doesn't that mean that nothing you do matters? I am sitting here with my best friend trying to help him get through a tough time. Now, if that's not real, I don't know what is. But like I said, I have no negatives about this. It's a good movie. I mean, you should go see it at your local theater. You know, it's, it's worth it. You'll have a good time with it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Again, this is another straight out the theater review, as I promised. And I look forward for more videos coming soon. And I'll see you on the next one. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. Peace.